question for you. How do you react when someone challenges an opinion that you hold? Do you listen calmly or do you get defensive? Now, most of us would like to believe we're rational creatures who would easily change their minds when presented with a new set of facts. The truth is, it's deeply uncomfortable when someone challenges our opinions and beliefs. Part of the reason is that our opinions become closely linked to our identity. If you believe in climate change, you are an environmentalist. If you don't believe in the efficacy of vaccines, you are an anti-vaxxer. So now if you question my opinion, you're not just questioning an opinion, you're questioning my worldview, which feels like an existential crisis. But if we hold our opinions so close to our hearts, how do we make room for new growth and learning? How do we make progress? That is where thinking like a scientist can help. One of the most brilliant ideas I have come across recently is by Ozan Varol, author of Think Like a Rocket Scientist. And he argues, if you want to think like a scientist, don't form opinions, instead form a working hypothesis. What's the difference? A working hypothesis by definition is a work in progress. It is open to being tested and to being changed in the face of new information or data. So try this with a few opinions that you hold. Instead of saying, I believe technology X is the answer to all our problems, you might say, I have a working hypothesis. Technology X can solve a lot of problems. Instead of saying, I believe this is the best move one can make in one's career, you might say, I have a working hypothesis that this move leads to a lot of benefits. This simple shift in language can trick your mind into being more curious more flexible and more open to being wrong. Will this work in all situations? Maybe not, but what a wonderful world it would be if we all allowed ourselves a little more room for being proven wrong. So the question I leave you with is, what opinion of yours are you willing to turn into a working hypothesis? Thank you.